Observe. A wand. How do we craft it? Hi, Scissorin here, and this is a pilot episode. I am going to start experimenting with using the emulator from Craft of Exile to uh, do item help, basically. They teach you guys how to craft items. So I just want to see that like, if it's something you guys like, then we'll make more of it. And I'll start making like, you know, craft the build and stuff like that in this format. And if not, then I'll stop doing it. So we'll see. So this is craftofexile.com. And then it's the emulator part. So let's start off by making a uh, like a blade blast weapon because somebody asked about that yesterday and people were like, why don't you use the emulator? And I'm like, well, I haven't tried it. So we're just browsing through here and, and finding the correct base. I'm going to scepter. I'm going to do a 40% scepter. Void is fine. The one I have is item level 85, so I'm going to do that. And I want a warlord scepter. Now, first, the number one thing I want, and there are a couple of different ways to do it, but I'll probably not have time to cover everything unless I want to make three hour videos. But like, this is a very, very good way to make a, um, a good scepter. So we're going to do first, we are going to find Warlord and we are going to grab uh, Fizz damage as extra fire. And we are gonna, we've rolled tier one. They're all the same weight. So it's not actually that hard to get a good one. Um, so we've got that. And then now I regal. I am going to regal it. And then uh, that's kind of annoying but we can we could do remove caster here We're, we are going to remove it so to remove it here you could either yolo an annulment um or you could do what i probably think is the safest which is remove caster so i click on harvest i find caster and then annul caster boom so now we have a clean scepter now we are going to do some wizardry so let's see, now I find, um, I'm going to craft a suffix onto it called cannot roll attack mods. So I click on the bench and I find the suffix, uh, which is here. Cannot roll attack modifiers. This costs one exalted orb. Now we go, we, we go back to harvest. We do augment and then we do physical. Boom. Now we've guaranteed plus one fist skill gem levels. There's nothing left now, so we can't add more. But now we've guaranteed plus one fist. And we already have a really, really good scepter. So if you happen to have, or your trade league, but if you happen to have a augment speed, you can now augment speed like this and hope that you hit a high tier. You could now also do remove add speed. The problem with this is that augment speed is very expensive. I don't particularly feel like this is worth it, but I wanted to mention it anyway. Um, I think we can just undo that. We could do it again too and see now I hit tier three. Now it's starting to be worth it. But anyway, uh, at least on Soul Sulfon, I would be skipping this step. Now I would be removing this. Uh, so we remove it. Boom. Minus. And then we do can up to have three modifiers. I'll, I'll show there's one other thing you can do as well. That's really good. And we'll show that next. But now we we craft we we want the chance to ignite paradigm chance to ignite this is also one x but it goes very high uh, it goes to 60 so obviously we want to divine this later and most builds wanting stuff like this also wants trigger there augment caster is a lot cheaper and both outcomes here are good at least for the blade blast build because spell crit even though we're not a crit build we do have elemental overload and we don't attack that much so having higher uptime on our elemental overload is good. So if I hit spell crit, that's good. Uh, or if I hit cast speed, that's good. Now, sadly, you're kind of stuck at this step, right? Unless you wanted to spend a, a larger amount of money by doing remove add caster. Sorry, uh, remove add speed in the, the other step I showed, which is very expensive. I don't think that's particularly worth it. But, uh, you know, it is a use for it. Now we actually have a really, really good scepter. We have tier one, fist is extra fire. Uh, and remember, this is Warlord. It's a lot, it's different and harder to do on Shaper Scepter. Uh, we have plus one Fizz, and that's like easy to guarantee. That's just cannot to roll attack mods and augment Fizz. It's the only thing you can get. This is like a really, really good use of your exalts on Solo Cell Phone because there's not that many use for them, right? This is a fully endgame Scepter. You can do everything with this. 
Now, there is one other thing you can do as well, which is... I haven't hit this. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to start exporting these. We're going to start exporting these so that people can uh, load in the the thing somehow. Because you can, you can load it in and it actually shows... Um, it shows the actual history and you can load that up. So we're just, I'm trying to make better crafting teaching content for people. So this is another Warlord Void Scepter. And we're going to show one other thing that's really good. This is pretty rare, but sometimes you can get like an actual really, really high uh, natural fire damage roll. And that is worth keeping as well. That is in fact quite likely to be better. Um, so let's see that we do this right. We hit some bullshit suffix. We we just want to we just want to remove that. So this is actually interesting. Here's here's a good teaching moment. If I now sometimes people would be tempted like oh I've like watched some of Sizrin's crafting videos. I know this. I know what we do here. We do uh, bench suffixes. Uh, prefixes cannot be changed. And then we scour. That actually turns it blue again. That does actually turn it blue again. So that is fairly expensive because it's two exalted orbs. This is the only way to make an item blue. Because if we use an annulment or something else to remove that, it stays rare. Um, this is actually, you can even make incursion items blue like this. But whenever you do prefixes or suffixes cannot be changed and scour down to one stat, it becomes blue. Um, so, I mean, that you could arguably keep that would arguably good for some builds right not really the one we're doing right now because we don't use anger unless you have an insane watcher's eye whenever you do hit a suffix you can clean those later after you've gotten your prefixes by doing prefixes cannot be changed and then scouring but you want to have at least two prefixes first so what we do now is we do cannot roll attack modifiers and now we can augment fizz twice like this is basically for getting a perfect scepter so this is going to be an actual perfect one. So I do Augment Fizz, and I hit Tier 1. Well, let's say we didn't. What do we do then? Well, then you're probably going to need to do some Remove Add. Because like sometimes you're going to hit Tier 2, sometimes you're going to hit Tier 3. Now, the wait for plus 1 gems is so little that you see how many it took me. And it actually shows you. It's a 14% chance. 14% chance or something to hit plus 1. You're most of the time just going to be rolling for that. And then the second augment, this is guaranteed. That's 100%. So it does show you the percentages here too. So now you have an insane scepter. You have fire damage, you have the fist is extra, and you have plus one fizz. And then now we can do uh, prefixes cannot be changed. We can scour. And now we can do multi-mod and we can do trigger and we can do cast speed. And then we have an insane scepter. So this is like a, a little bit about how to make some like perfect scepters and a good use for exalted orbs. Like I would never use exalts for like exalting items or slamming items as we call it. So this is just me experimenting with some crafting stuff. Please do let me know if it's good, if it's way easier to understand. Crafting in Path of Exile is so complicated and I really want to like know and understand how I can make it easier, especially for new players. And I figure with, with showing it like this, and being able to share the, the history for Craft of Exile because you can import crafts on the site. So hopefully this helps people more. Let me know if there's anything you want to see more of or anything I can do better. And I think if this is popular, I want to start experimenting with doing this for every item in the build uh, of items I have build guides for. Of builds I have build guides for. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Thanks again for all the support. Sub if you like the video. And more importantly, try to die less than I do.